I kind of asked Spencer the same thing, but just uh, he mentioned Saturday was kind of a long time coming for you guys. Mm -hmm. Just what what was different or maybe what changed about uh, the way the season has gone and then the way you guys were able to play on Saturday? You know, I don't think anything changed per se. I think if you go back and watch the film, you could tell that each game, you know, we was just – we kept improving and, you know, we kept our head down. You know, like, like we were saying in the beginning of the season, we knew it was going to take a lot of work, you know, to get to a point where we would feel – you know, as like an elite offensive line. And I still don't think that we're out there. I still think that there's, you know, a lot of things we can work on. But, you know, I, you know, Saturday, of course, it felt amazing. So, you know, it was a good step forward, but, you know, it's not done. You between mean, that, between that Alabama game on Saturday, just the way you guys have been able to run the ball these last four games now, do you feel like this offense finally has some identity? Um, you know, I think we are building one, you know. Uh, I can't say, you know, whatever these things, but I think that, you know, I think that our offense should be good at everything. I mean, I'm not good at everything, but I think our offense should be well-rounded all around, you know? So, yeah, we were yeah we were good at running the ball, but there's always something to improve on, you know? You can never be too good at, at everything, you know? What have you seen from Spencer the last couple of weeks? I mean, he really stepped up, you know? We had some guys go down, and, you know, when he, his time was needed, he was called on, and, uh, you know, that's a guy I came in with, a guy I'm really close with, you know? He's really reliable. I call him for anything. And, you know, he's always there for me. Uh, along those lines, what, what have you seen from guys like Keith and Logan, young I mean, guys that have really been on the field a lot? Those guys, you know, just complete transformation, you know, from when I first got here to now, you know, the way that they've grown and the way that they've, uh, you know, been able to evolve as a player and as a person. I've just been really proud of those guys, and I'm really just proud of this group. Spencer, after a big win like that, anyone's always going to say, you know, yeah. how do you stay focused, you know, get locked in. With, with – the adversity you guys have faced this year, does that make it any easier that you finally got that payoff to, to carry momentum and, and roll that forward to next Saturday? You know, I think with the adversity that we faced this year, it kind of helps because we understand that, okay, just this win doesn't change everything. You know, we still have that pain from the past. You know, of course, you celebrate the win that night, but, you know, next day we were in the meeting room, you know, getting ready for LSU. Like, you know, you, you're able to move forward because you feel the pain from the past, you know. And just because one, just because you get one win against an amazing Alabama team, you know, um, it doesn't mean that the job is not done. Probably the job is done. You know, we still got a lot to work on, a lot to improve on. How cool is it to see Jackson kind of get a win like this? And what have you seen from him since? Man, it's, it's amazing. You know, I'm 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 proud of that kid. You know, he works his butt off. You know, he's here every day with us. You know, we're all in here grinding together. You know, so it, it was a good feeling. For him to get that win, not for us to get that win. You guys have played in a lot of tough venues this year, a lot. And you mentioned about LSU and how unique that is. What have you learned, and what's going to be the key going into there? You know, I think the key is just you know focusing on the basic stuff. You know, ignoring the the crowd and, and focusing on LSU. You know, LSU has a great team. You know, great defense. You know, we would have to we we have to be you know at, at the top of our game you know to be able to win this game. Just like every other game, you know. So, you know, it's really just ignoring the outside noise and, and focusing on the task at hand, you know. What have you seen from Xavier just these last several months? And what does it say about him that, you know, he was willing to burn his red shirt to be able to help this, the team these last two games? I mean, he's a selfless guy, you know. Uh, same thing in the running back room. We got some guys go down. When your name is called on, are you ready for the call? He's ready for the call, you know. And it's not just something that's out of nowhere, you know. I've practiced with them, so you know you see you see like these people grow. You know, I feel like sometimes people pop off, and you and some people don't expect it, but it's hard work. You know, we put they put in work every day. You know, I'm proud of these guys. Like we work hard every day, no matter the the outcome of the game. We come in next day, ready to hit attack the week, and it just shows on the field. How great was it to be recognized by the SEC today? Oh uh, man, it feels amazing. But you know, you know all that glory goes to God and my teammates. You know. God gave me the opportunity to be here and to play a great team like Alabama and my teammates for, you know, being behind me and, and really helping me uh, do this stuff. Because, you know, I can't block five, five people by myself. So, you know, it's it's really, you know, they gave it to me, but I think it's all of us. We all got the SEC off of the line of the week. What uh, cut up would you have used for your highlight from Saturday? <laughs> man, <laughs> man, I don't know, man. I, anything but that one. That was, I think that was my worst play of the night, but, you know, Sometimes, you know, football's ugly. You know, you got to die for the play. Die for that play. I'm happy about it. You know, if they if that's the one they got to choose, that's the one they got to choose. But I don't know. If I have to pick one, I think that QB one 
uh, up the middle with Jackson. Yeah. I, I like that one. I like that one because you know me and the center was trying to communicate on that. So it was a, it was kind of a cool play for me. Couldn't get Xavier's forty yard run in there with the whole right side. Oh just yeah, that smothered. was a good one too. <laughs> that was a good one too. But you know they chose that one. It's a touchdown play. I can't do nothing about it. You got to tell them to let you choose next time. <laughs> I mean, if they ask me, I, I could choose for them. But <laughs> yeah. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate thank you. Thank you.